Hello guys, this is Eric from ET Figure Unboxing. And in this review, we're going to take a look at the Revoltag Yamaguchi number 140EX um, Raiden, the white armor version. Or Raiden, however you want to pronounce it. So I had this guy three years ago, like when he first came out. I never opened him because I have the black one. This is the white armor version. I don't think he's ever like this in the game unless you use a custom skin or a mod. But yeah, here's the um, left side of the box. And here's the right side of the box. And just featuring some real tech technology. And there's the back of the box. So they didn't change the art for the um, black one. Kind of lazy, but you know, it's exactly the same figure. So I, I guess they don't really have to. Um, yeah, let's jump straight into the figure and see what we got. Because he came with quite a lot of stuff. Alright, so here's the figure still in the packaging. And he came with a sword, a sheath, a knife, and a piece of tool for you to adjust the eyeball. And a visor, stand, three pairs of hands. Another right hand for you to hold the sword a certain way. And a piece to, um, I think this is for you to store the eyeball. Because he does come with the interchangeable eyeballs. And watermelon for the gimmicks. And a box for you to store stuff. And some pieces for you to assemble. So you can like, put the sword on his foot. And finally, he also came with the box. Like this is the Metal Gear famous box. Like they all hide in the box and people can't find them. But I don't think I'm going to assemble that just for um, collection purposes. And let's jump straight into the figure and see what we got. Alright, so here we have the figure itself. And I gotta say, he looks pretty good for the most part. Consider that he's like a $40 retail figure. And he's around $60 right now after the inflation. Because he did came out like three years ago. I've had this guy for a while, but I just never took him out. But yeah, he's like a very standard um, Revoltech quality. And if SH Figure Arts or Figma were to do like a write-in, it will be a lot more expensive. And I'm pretty happy in, for this figure in general. But yeah, now let's jump straight into the articulation and see what we got. Alright, so most people dislike the articulation of Real Tech. Because they, they have these like clicky joints and they're usually pretty flimsy. I don't know why mine is a little bit loose. Because my other Real Tech figures are not like this. Like, default, these is just like kind of loose. And they're not supposed to be like that. But, you know, sometimes quality control and bad luck and everything get into account. But he can still stand pretty well, so that's not a problem. Alright, so his hand goes up this high. And I really... This is like the only thing I don't like about real tech joints. Like their their hand joints or like their arms are just really weird. They like doing this thing where, you know, you can like pose it and you know have like that kind of like joints over there. And it really limits the movement you can do and all you can do is like this or like that and then raise up that high. You can't even do a 360, I think. Yeah, it's it's kind of weird to do a 360. So I'm just not going to do that, but he does have a bicep swivel. Yeah, over here in the bicep curl. My bad, I mixed that up. And the hand has on a hinge and moves around that much. So not that impressive over there. And here's the ab crunch. The ab crunch is amazing though. Like he has some amazing ab crunch like to bend forward. And he goes up that much and then bends that much. They do very well on the um, dynamic poses, but just not too well when they're, you know, just resting. But yeah, that's it for the articulation, I think. And let's jump straight into the um, accessories. Alright, so first up, we have the um, karate chopping hands or like the open palms. And that looks pretty good for the most part. I really like it. But I don't think I'm going to find too much use for it because he's usually like holding a sword and, you know, maybe have other dynamic poses that are better than this one. But yeah, it's pretty cool that it included like a karate chop. And yeah. That's pretty cool. Alright, so next up we have these dynamic posing hands and these are really cool. I think I like it better than the karate chopping hands. Because this is like he's ready to fight, you know, flexing his finger and just gonna like, you know, pull your lungs out or something. That's really, really cool. I like that. Alright, so next up of course we have the pair of sword holding hands and it just looks like that. Very generic. And we're gonna take a look at the sword right now and this is what the sword looks like, closed up. And it's, re it's a really good sword. I think he's really well sculpted in detail, like, it's not bad. And here's the sheath. And that's pretty cool too. And this whole thing, it's um, posable. So he's able to, you know, put the sword at his back or, you know, on the on the hip. That's, it's really cool. We're going to assemble that later. And then here's the little knife he came with as well. And he also came with the alternative um, right hand to hold the knife. I think these are slightly angled so you can hold the knife better. Alright, let's see what he looks like to assemble. Alright, so here's the sheath and it's really cool. Like the whole thing is connected through the Revoltech joints. And you can like reposition it like however you want. So he can hold the sword a certain way. I'm just gonna quickly do that in front of you guys right now. 
what you can do. Like he can hold a sword like that, or like store the sword like over here. Yeah, it's whatever you're desired. And of course, he can place his sword over here. I'm just gonna put that in. I'm not sure if this is the right angle. I'm probably not a right angle over here. Wait, that was the right. It's kind of hard to like put it in, but that's pretty cool. That means it's gonna like stay there really securely. And that looks really, really awesome. Or you can, you know, just put a default like stuck as its back. Yeah, it's really, really well done. And it feels pretty sturdy too. So I wouldn't worry too much about, you know, that thing dropping anytime soon. Yeah. And that looks pretty awesome. And that's put the sword on his hand. I think that's how he holds it. It's kind of stiff. And let me just try to wiggle, wiggle in there. It's going to get loose over time though. And that looks really, really awesome. Raiden doesn't look like Raiden without a sword. And I think you can put the um the smaller knife onto his left hand. Right here if you desire to. But it's again, it's really stiff. I don't want to like you know stress too much about it. And this is what he will look like holding a sword. And you can do a lot of cool poses with it. Usually I just let him hold a sword like the way Sasuke holds his sword. Like probably like more of something like this. And then he can have like very, very dynamic pose with this. Yeah, that looks really, really awesome. This is where Rebel Tech shines. They're very good at this kind of pose where the thing is on his shoulder or something. You know, he can like jump really high and then slash you like that. That's really, really awesome. All right, let's see what, what else we have. All right, so Raiden also came with the alternative headpiece where you can just put the visor on and that looks really awesome. And let's see what he looks like with the visor. Alright, so obviously for you to assemble the visor, you gotta remove the hair piece and, you know, the pieces um, on the left and right of his ear. And then just simply plug this in. I'm just gonna show you guys right now and that will look really, really cool. And this is really, really awesome. Just look at, oh, it's so cool. He just looks like an assassin. And you, you don't really have to worry about a face when you're, you know, obviously on a visor. And that's really cool. It just looks like he's about to, like, you know, fuck shit up. You know, yeah. assume his mission. And I like this kind of pose where he's just kind of like crouching and ready to, you know, draw his blade. And that looks really, really awesome. All right, let's see what else he got. All right, so Raiden also came with these watermelon, and I don't really care for it, but a lot of people said the pattern is not symmetrical. It is not symmetrical, by the way. And I, I really just don't care about the watermelon, to be honest. And it's pretty cool that they give us the yellow one, because the original black um, release was the red watermelon. So that's just a really cool gimmick. I don't really care for it much, though. And we also came with a box where you can store all your hands or something. They start doing this like a long time ago, but yeah, I don't really care for it either, because I don't throw away my boxes. All right, next up, we have these tools for you to um, change his eyeball. And this is actually the red eyeball. I'm not too sure if I'm going to use it. Cause it's pretty cool, but it's, I think I'm just going to leave the visor on, but you get the idea. You just like, you know, pull the face up and, you know, start doing this, poking at it and, you know, store the eyeball in and whatever. It's pretty cool. And lastly, I'm going to talk about these um, pieces where you can put it on his hand and then, you know, you can stuck the sword onto his feet. And that's pretty cool. I'm not going to talk about a stand cause I don't really prefer Revo Tech stands anyway. All right. So for this extra piece is really easy. You just plug that in and then you just put your sword like right here and that's it. So now you have Raiden kicking with his sword. I'm probably not going to use this too often because, you know, the whole piece of plastic looks kind of weird. And Raiden looks better holding a sword anyways. All right, now let's jump straight into the size comparison. All right, so for the size comparison, I think the most important guy is the most recent Venom Snake. Even though this guy is not Snake, but you get the idea. He's pretty cool. And he's pretty tall too. This is the modern Revolt type. This guy came out three years ago or maybe five years ago, I would say. Because this is like obviously a recolor. And this looks pretty cool. I'm not sure if Venom Snake is that much taller, but you know, the scale is pretty good. And since they're not necessarily made to scale, I'm really happy with it. Like this is really acceptable. All right, so here next up we have um, Awakening Goku next to it. So you guys are more familiar with this guy and the size of it. And here we have Demma, which is pretty short, but you know, you get an idea. That's pretty cool. Cause Remma is supposed to be short. And here we have the SH figure is Bruce Lee. Sorry, I, I don't have him on the um, the best pose possible. And I, I have to hold it right in or, or else he's gonna like, I feel like he's gonna fall over. Yeah, that's what he looks like next to it. And here we have the Levi. 
from Figma. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. And we have, of course, the premium color Vegeta. Yeah, looking all mad at it, right? It's like, oh, what the fuck? And here we have the premium color trunks. That's pretty cool. And of course, we have the tallest Figma, or one of the tallest Figma, Makoto from Free. And what else do we have here? We have um, Persona U. And it looks like they're gonna have a pretty good sword fight. And we have the Minato from Naruto, and this is really, really awesome. This this is actually one of my favorite figures right now. I'm a really big Naruto fan. And, oh, I can't forget this guy. And here's Kakashi. Kakashi's still pretty tall. Like, he towers over a lot of people. And that includes Raiden, because he has, like, really, really spiky hair. And that's, yeah, that's pretty cool. And we have, here I have a um, very random figure. This is Cars from, Cars from Jojo Bizarre. He's, like, the final boss for Season 2 of Jojo Bizarre. This is a pretty good figure, but a lot of people, you know, can't get over the looks of it. Just Jojo Bizarre in general is pretty bizarre. That's why it's called Bizarre, because he's fighting bizarre-looking enemies. And their, even their abilities are bizarre. And here's the GGO version Kirito, and that looks pretty cool. Alright, so here we're going to have him compared to some of the other figures right here. He doesn't stand too well, so I, I have to hold him right while I'm doing this. Uh, just excuse me, I'm going to hold. So here's next to um, Ultimate Gohan and Spider-Man, Hulk. I'm not sure if they're going to release like a uh, Avengers version of the Spider-Man. Because I'm not too sure about that. But yeah, here's Captain America. So he's around this size. Like, this is the most accurate you can get. Like, standing next to Gohan. Because probably everyone has that Gohan by now. It's pretty cheap. Alright, so... Here is him next to the backdrop. I'm gonna try to stand him well before I remove the backdrop. Just bear with me. Alright, so he looks like he can stand pretty well. And let's see what we have. And there's Kirito. And some Star Wars figures. And Jojo Bizarre, and there's Mewtwo. And we have Awakening Goku, Kirito, Gon Kirua from Hunter series right there. Sorry they're not lined up like perfectly, but you know, you get the idea. He's around the same height as Obi-Wan. And recently, a lot of um, my figures are around the same height as Obi-Wan. Alright, let's jump straight into the final thoughts and see what we have. Alright, so for the final thoughts, I really do like the figure. Consider this is the only right in the market, he is really, really good. And you really don't have other choice if you really want a Raiden figure. And this is the white version, and which is like a variant. And he looks really good. I like all the, you know, the different colors they're doing. It's really, really cool. Revoltech really doesn't have the best drawings or whatever. But they do have um some very cool poses you can do with him. You just have to get used to the, the joints and everything and look over it. it. They're very fun. And they're not that much more expensive. But... You know, some people would prefer spending the same amount of money on a figure arts or something. But that's just personal preference. I really like the character, so I have to have this figure. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe, like, comments, and really help me as a um, reviewer. Uh, I'm, I apologize for the late reviews. As I'm not too sure what to review. I have all these figures, but I don't know which ones you, you guys would like to see and do let me know in the comments if you want to see something and maybe I'll go buy it I don't know like cuz some of the stuff I'm not too sure if I want it or not but I'm pretty big fan of Figma and SH Figures in general but yeah I'll see you guys in the next review I'm signing out